In the 6A Division I state final, it was part three of the North Shore Duncanville Trilogy. In the first two installments of this epic matchup, the Mustangs walked away with the championship rings. Neither team made the final last season, but a week ago, they renewed the rivalry one more time. The Panthers were favored in this one, but North Shore wasn't about to concede in this defensive struggle. North Shore head coach John Kay knows a lot about bringing a young team to state and being successful. In 2018, the Mustangs had a sophomore quarterback throw a Hail Mary to win the most dramatic state championship in Texas high school football history. This year, it's a freshman, Caleb Bailey, leading the way for Kay's bunch. And despite not being able to drive a car yet, Caleb did just that. He led. With a perfect mix of running and passing, Bailey helped maneuver the Mustangs through the playoffs and into a state title game against Duncanville in front of over 42,000 fans. Former Mustang Shadrach Banks was a sophomore when he first played at state, and he felt Bailey had shown more composure than even Banks did four years ago. Caleb is, is way more mature for his age than, than what we were. And I feel like he'll be ready. Like, I have no doubt in my mind about this team and Caleb leading this team. Most experts thought this one would be a defensive struggle, and it most definitely was. North Shore found a way to get points on the board first as Caleb Bailey went to his brother Jalen for a three-yard score, and North Shore would lead 7 to nothing after one. In the second quarter, Duncanville tied it up with a one-yard plunge from linebacker Jordan Crook. The rest of the half, both teams' front sevens dominated the game. For North Shore, it was Kent Battle and Ronald Wilson picking up some big-time sacks, and it would remain tied at sevens at the half. In the second half, Caleb Bailey would use his legs to pick up yardage. 18 yards here helped the Mustangs get a field goal to go up 10-7. After Duncanville tied it up with a field goal, North Shore's defense would continue to hound the Panther offense. Javen Anderson makes a tackle here on Solomon James, and Duncanville would have to punt. Less than three minutes left in the game, and here comes the play of the contest. For the first time in the game, Bailey had all day in the pocket, and he would use that to his advantage as David Amador gets open for a 39-yard touchdown pass play. North Shore takes a 17 to 10 lead, and then the Mustangs turned it over to their defense. On fourth and 10, James tries one last pass, and that's picked off by Anderson, and that would do it. North Shore wins its third state title in four years with a 17 to 10 victory. The Mustangs may have been slightly overlooked most of the year, but they wind up holding the trophy anyway. That's the way these kids like it. We, we, uh, we keep our eyes down and our sleeves up and we go to work. That's the way that they're, they've been taught in their households. That's what we build upon as coaches. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of challenges in our community, but the one thing we know is these kids aren't entitled. They know how to work for what they want. It's a great feeling. You know, me and my brothers came out here and executed the good way, the fast way. You know, we got on their, their bus right away. And we, wait, we ain't waste no time. We came ready to play, no cap. 